In the world of survival games, one title has stood above the rest. A game where danger lurks around every corner and every decision can be the difference between life and death. A game where players must use their wits and resourcefulness to survive in a harsh and unforgiving world. Welcome to DayZ. Join me as we dive into the history of this groundbreaking game and uncover the story behind one of the most intense and captivating survival experiences in gaming history. Dean Hall, born in New Zealand, was a military serviceman who discovered a passion for game development. He honed his skills and eventually became involved with the popular military simulator Arma 2. It was here that Dean would lay the foundation for what would become DayZ. Dean was inspired to create a training tool for soldiers that would expose them to challenging and emotionally charged situations. This idea was rooted from his own experiences while in exchange with the Singapore Armed Forces where a survival skills exercise left him badly injured. This experience directly influenced the development of DayZ, which aimed to immerse players in a world filled with tension and emotional challenges. The early success of the DayZ mod is attributed by Dean to social media and players' desires for a challenging game. He viewed the mod as an anti-game, breaking away from traditional game design by putting immersion and emotional impact above balance and player comfort. This unique approach to game design quickly gained the attention of players. Despite only being a mod for Arma 2, the game provided a new level of survival experience requiring players to navigate a harsh and unforgiving world while making difficult decisions to survive. The immersive world of DayZ was a major draw for players, eager to test their survival skills in a challenging and emotionally charged environment. As the mod became more popular, the servers struggled to keep up with the influx of players. This resulted in lag and stability issues, causing frustration among players. In addition, the game's open-world nature made it vulnerable to cheating and hacking, which further undermined the integrity of the game. Another challenge faced by the DayZ mod was balancing their survival aspects of the game with the needs of the players. The harsh, unforgiving nature of the game's world could lead to frustration and anger among players, causing many to quit playing. Dean was forced to find ways to strike a balance between creating an immersive and challenging experience while also ensuring the game was accessible and enjoyable for players. Despite these challenges, the DayZ mod continued to grow and evolve. Dean worked hard to address the technical and gameplay issues, and the game gradually became more stable and enjoyable for players. The success of the mod led to the creation of the standalone game, which continued to build upon the foundation established by the original mod. The popularity of the DayZ mod caught the attention of Bohemia Interactive, the creators of Arma 2. Recognizing the potential of the mod, Bohemia Interactive approached Dean Hall with the idea of creating a standalone game based on the mod. The first official announcement was posted in August of 2012 on the DayZ Tumblr account, which was titled The End of the Beginning. In this announcement, Dean stated that he was being brought in as a project lead, and that the mod and the game would be updated and developed simultaneously for the time being. Dean pledged that the alpha release of the game would be released in November of 2012. However, this isn't exactly what happened. The development team faced many hurdles causing the game to be pushed back multiple times. One of the biggest reasons for the delays was the game's overall complexity. The game engine DayZ was built on top of was still in development, and the team had to work to iron out various bugs and performance issues. The team also had to design and implement new features such as the game's unique inventory system and player interactions which required extensive testing and refinement. Another factor was the size and scope of the game world. The game was designed to be a massive online multiplayer experience, with a huge open world and tens of thousands of players. The development team had to work to ensure that the game was stable and reliable even with the high player count. Through these challenges, the development team remained committed to delivering a high quality game experience for players. The delays and setbacks were seen as necessary steps in the development process as the team worked to create a game that would stand the test of time and offer players an unforgettable survival experience. In December of 2013, the early access version of DayZ was released. The game sold over 400,000 copies in its first week, although the early access launch was just the beginning for DayZ. As the development team continued to work on the game, adding new features and fixing bugs based on player feedback. However, the fast turnaround from mod to early access game was just the start. The full release of the game wouldn't happen for another 5 years. But why? Well, one of the biggest challenges was the sheer size and complexity of the game. DayZ was and still is an ambitious project featuring a massive open world, realistic survival mechanics, and an emphasis on player choice and freedom. Developing a game of this scale is a difficult task, requiring a massive amount of time and resources. The development team also faced difficulties in balancing the needs of the player community 
and the realities of game development. DayZ is a game that is driven by player choice with emergent stories and experiences that arise from interactions between players. The development team needed to be careful not to disturb the delicate balance of the game's systems while also addressing the needs and wants of the player community. The development team was dedicated to bringing the game to completion, working tirelessly to address bugs, optimize performance, and adding new features. The release of DayZ marked the end of a long and challenging journey, and the beginning of a new chapter for the game. The development team's commitment to delivering the best possible experience for players, even in the face of adversity, is a testament to the passion and dedication that they brought to the project. However, this isn't the end of our story. As players explored the vast and immersive world of DayZ, they began to create their own stories documenting their experiences and sharing them among the community. This trend was soon taken to the next level as players began to create full-length movies and series about their in-game experiences. These projects were made using a combination of in-game footage, voiceovers, and special effects, telling the stories of players' struggles and triumphs as they navigated the harsh and unforgiving world. These content creators quickly gained a following, with their movies and series attracting millions of views and attracting new players to the game. The popularity of DayZ content creation only continued to grow, and today is a thriving community of artists, filmmakers, and storytellers who are passionate about the game and the world that they have created within it. Whether it's through movies, series, or other forms of creative expression, the DayZ community has proven time and time again that they are not just players of a game, but also storytellers, artists, and visionaries. The stories that they have created and the world that they have built are a testament to the limitless potential of DayZ and the passion of its players. From its early success as a popular mod to its eventual release as a standalone game, DayZ has captured the hearts and minds of millions of players around the world. Despite its long development journey and the challenges it faced along the way, DayZ has become one of the most influential and beloved games in the world. It has inspired a generation of gamers and storytellers and it has created a rich and immersive world that can continue to captivate players for years to come. So as we bring this mini documentary to a close, I want to take a moment to thank you for joining me on this journey through DayZ's history. I hope that you have learned something new and gained a deeper appreciation for the game and its community. DayZ is a true testament to the power of creativity, perseverance, and passion, and it will continue to be a part of gaming history for generations. Thank you for watching.